Hi, thanks for joining me today. Uh, I'm Chris Converse, and I wanted to spend a few minutes to show you how we can take a folder full of files and combine them into a brand new PDF file. Um, we can arrange them, organize the pages, and get them ready to share with our colleagues and clients. Um, so while I'm demonstrating, I'm not going to be able to answer or see all of the questions that come in. However, there are some folks from Adobe who will be answering the uh, questions in the chat pod. So feel free to ask questions or put in your comments. So um, I'm going to start sharing my screen here. And I just want to make sure that that's coming through, um, which it is. Great. Um, and so what I'm going to do is start with the home screen here inside of uh, Acrobat. So what I'm going to do is come over here and come into my Creative Cloud files so I can see my files here. And my Creative Cloud files are synced to my desktop. So I'll come over here and open those files here. So what I want to do is create a brand new PDF from all of the files inside of here. So back inside of Acrobat, I'm going to come up to the Tools panel. I'm going to come down to Combine Files. Now when I open this up, I'm going to get this uh, window here, which will allow me to either drag files right from my operating system right into this window. I can click on Add Files, and I could browse through my um, operating system's uh, open and save dialog box. But I like to just simply drag and drop files. So I'm going to go back to the Creative Cloud files. I'm going to select the first file, hold Shift, select all of the files, which includes Illustrator files, PowerPoint files, a bunch of graphics. And I'm simply going to just drag and drop these right inside of the Combine Files tab. So now what Acrobat's going to do is it's going to evaluate all of those files for me. So I don't have to open each one in my operating system and figure out what they are. I can just drag them right into Acrobat and let Acrobat go through and figure out what's going on inside of here. So right away, I might see a couple of um, problems. First, I can see these little warning symbols here. And down at the bottom, it tells me that there are some file formats that Acrobat doesn't support. While we're doing the combine feature, Acrobat does need to have access to the applications that it needs to generate these particular files. That's not always the case. We can create PDF from any file format using Document Cloud, which we'll take a look at in a few minutes. Um, but what I need to do here is come in here and just select the files that aren't being supported and just simply delete them. So I'll select this first file here, which is a native Photoshop file. I'll just delete that file. And I also have an Illustrator file here. So I'm going to come in here and just simply delete that as well. So now I'm left with all of my files that are understood by Acrobat, including my PowerPoint files and the additional graphics. And once I have all of these files in place that are supported, I'll get the Combine button showing up here in the upper right-hand corner. So now I'll simply come in here and click on Combine. And now Acrobat's going to go through. It's going to launch PowerPoint for the PowerPoint file that we have inside of here. And it's going to convert all of those individual files into pages in a brand new file called binder2.pdf. So if I come over here to my left-hand side and open up the Pages panel, I can see all of the pages showing up inside of my document here. So now I can come in here in my Pages panel, and I can do a few things. I can grab one of these items, for example, and I can rearrange them. But to make some of the um, organizing easier, there's actually an Organization Pages, or an Organized Pages, rather, feature inside of Acrobat. You can see that over here on the right-hand side under Organized Pages or I can come up here to the Tools panel and come down and click Organize Pages. So there's a few extra things I can do inside of here that just make it a little easier and faster than to manually do pages one at a time in the Pages panel. So first off, if I hover over any one of these items, I can instantly rotate these, either clockwise or counterclockwise. So I'll rotate this one counterclockwise to move this into place. I can also select any one of these items and rearrange them. So I'll move this back over to this point here. Um, and again, it just gives me a really quick way to sort of evaluate everything that's going on. If I scroll down, I can take a look at some of the additional pieces down here. Um, one piece is this um, receipt here. This actually shows that we converted this to a dot matrix for a cash register for the branding for this particular project. Um, but I don't need that here to share with our clients. So I'm going to come in here and click on the trash can. Just remove that. I also need to rotate these two labels here, but I want to save that for the mobile platform because I want to show you what organized pages looks like on a mobile device as well. Um, and there's another problem here, and that is this image here. It's really dark. This is not the retouched version of the, of the glasses of honey that I want to use, or the jars rather. So what I'm going to do is select this item, and up at the top, I'm going to come over here and click on the replace option here. So this bar is showing me everything related to organized pages. So I'll come up here and click on replace. 
And what I'm gonna do is select a PDF that I already have with the retouched data inside of it. So I'll choose select. It's gonna ask me to replace pages nine to nine. We'll click okay. And then it's just gonna ask me if I'm sure. And yes, I'm sure, so I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And now I can see that I've now switched out that graphic for the file that's been retouched. So there's a few other things we can do inside of the Organize Pages panel as well. Let's say, for example, I wanted to take all of these screens from the PowerPoint presentation and get those into a new PDF file. So I could simply select the first item. I'll hold the Shift key since these are in consecutive order and select the last screen of the presentation. And with all of these selected, I could come up to the Extract option, click on Extract. If I choose to delete pages after extracting, what this will do is keep the binder to PDF open, but it will remove all of these pages here and bring those into a new file. I could also extract pages as separate files, which would give me an individual PDF for every one of the selected files. Or I can simply leave both unchecked and hit extract, and I'll get a new PDF file with six pages, which has all of the pages from that original PowerPoint file. So if I come over here to the left-hand side, open up my pages panel, here's a brand new PDF with all of those extracted pages. So that's a great feature, uh, but I don't need that. I want to include this with everything else that we're gonna be sending over. So with all of these in place, there's a few more other options we have inside of here. We can insert um, new content, which we'll do in a moment. Um, and we can also run some split uh, capabilities here. So we could actually split this PDF based on pages, based on the file size, and based on top level bookmarks. Now the bookmarks is a really interesting feature because imagine if you had a really long document and you use a tool like InDesign, for example, to uh, create table of contents, and which in turn turned into bookmarks, you could actually use this feature and break a PDF apart into individual chapters and then share those chapters with different editors or different uh, members of your client team to get feedback on a pretty large PDF document. So again, it gives you a really quick way to sort of separate this all out. So I'm gonna close this up. And I was talking about uh, running insert here because I am getting a question from Amir. And he's asking if there's any way that we can include that Photoshop file. Because if you remember back in my Creative Cloud files, I do have that about collage.psd file. So let's convert that real quick before we send this over to our mobile uh, device to do some additional organizing. So to do that, I still have my binder to PDF file open. I'm gonna come back to my tools panel, come down to create PDF. I'm gonna choose single file here. And then I'm just simply gonna come down here and click select a file. I'll go back to my Creative Cloud files. I'll just grab the Photoshop file, make sure that's selected, and then I'll click Open. Once it's loaded inside of the panel here, I'll click on Create. And now Acrobat will take that Photoshop file, push it up to Document Cloud. Document Cloud, in turn, understands the Photoshop file format in addition to a wide range of additional file formats. And then Document Cloud will push back a PDF file that we're looking at right here of that Photoshop file. So what I'll do quickly here is go to the file menu. I'm gonna choose save. I'll go out to my desktop. We'll call this about collage PDF. We'll hit save. We can see that on the desktop here. I'll close that PDF and now back in our binder too. Let's come back to organize pages and I can come in here and click insert or I can also just go right to my operating system and just drag the new PDF right inside of my document. So here's our new collage showing up here which was generated from Photoshop directly through Document Cloud. So with these in place, let's choose File. Let's choose Save, we're saving our binder. I'm gonna come in here and choose my Document Cloud files. I don't wanna call this binder. This is, these are all the assets for our campaign. So I'll just name this campaign.pdf and then choose Save. So now Acrobat is gonna save this up to Document Cloud and now I can access Document Cloud from any device and open this PDF file up and continue editing it. So what I'm gonna do is hop over to my mobile device and I'll show my screen projection here. So uh, the top second item, <laughs> top column, uh, second item is Adobe Acrobat. So I'm gonna come in here and tap on that to launch this application. So I'm currently looking at my Creative Cloud files. So let's switch this to Document Cloud. Inside of Document Cloud, I can see my campaign Come in here and click on that. We'll open this up. So we're now looking at that PDF file that we uh, created from all of our individual files. So I'm just gonna simply swipe through here and I can take a look at all of these individual pages. 
So in the upper left hand corner, I'm going to tap on this page icon and that's going to bring up all of my tools. And I want to come in here and select organize pages. It's exactly the same icon that we have on the desktop platform. So in the mobile platform here, everything is touch enabled. So if I want to rearrange pages, for example, I can simply tap on one item. This is that Photoshop collage. Click and hold and I can move this around and move it to a different position. I can also come in here and see that the two icons, I'm sorry, the two uh, labels I have down here at the bottom are actually upside down. So I need to rotate these. So I can select one of these items and click on rotate and just rotate this around. I can also tap and select multiple items, hit my rotate and I can rotate all of them at once. And then the really fun way to do it is to use two fingers, tap on one of the icons and just use your fingers to rotate and move these around. So again, fully touch enabled capabilities for coming in here and organizing um, our PDF file that we got from the uh, combined feature. So I like this. I'm going to tap on this icon here, go back to the main campaign. So now I can swipe through. Let's go back to the end to make sure that these are rotated properly, which they are. So I can see the two labels for the honey jar. So these look great. I'm going to hit the back button. This is going to tell the mobile device to synchronize back to Document Cloud, which you can see in the bottom center there. So now let's go back to Acrobat on our computer. I'll close my PDF file. Let's come back to Acrobat. Let's go to Document Cloud and let's open our campaign back up. So we'll see the changes inside of here that we got from making a change in the mobile platform. So here's the two pages that have been rotated. And now from within Acrobat, we can go back to our tools panel and we can now share this with our colleagues and clients. So one option is we can send this out for comments, send out the entire PDF, let everybody comment and then gather those back. We can also do a send and track. If I were to select this item here, I can then add in multiple um, email addresses to people that I would like to send this out to and have Document Cloud be able to track uh, who's opened this and what people are doing inside of that document. Um, and in addition, if I need to get signatures, I could also do a send for signature um, or even uh, do a fill and sign put my own signature in there and send this out as well. So again, we basically went from this folder full of um, disjointed files, gathered them together, let Acrobat figure out what was going on, organize and arrange them, and just get to a point where we can now take all of those files in a nice organized fashion and share them out with our uh, colleagues and clients. Um, so I hope you guys found this really helpful. I appreciate you joining me today, and hopefully I'll see you again next time.